Hello there once again everyone, my name is Mr. Smack Hedigan, and tonight we're going to be doing part 5 of the Crash Bandicoot 2 Let's Play. I just realised we've got... wow. Uh, my old my old recording test account and my new save file... Did I just call it the account? Or whatever. Fucking accurate as hell, both got the same number of crystals and gems. That's crazy. Anyway! With uh, the Komodo Brothers roundly trounced, we've now got access to the third warp room, which ha which gives us access to plant food, seawater later, uh, bear down, road to ruin, and unbearable. What a fun set of levels! So for now, we are going to go into plant food. I'm pretty sure this is the last river stage of the game, so we're gonna make it count. I think. Yeah, there it is. All right. Every single stage starts off with a waterfall. Oh, nice. All right. Uh, with the with what was it with the with this with this third uh, what was it warp room? I have exceeded. The, oh, whoops. I have already passed the point where the my recording tests have, have passed. So any knowledge that I may be able to use will be based purely on things from years ago rather than. Uh, minutes ago. <laughs> and that's already going to show, isn't it? Oh boy. But yes, there is something special about this stage, if I remember right. Yep, this is the other timer level. But we're not going to go for the timer jam just yet, because that is absolute fucking bananas. Which makes sense, because it's a yellow jam. Oh boy, an accurate. Um. But yes, this is one of the stages I remember having some interesting times with because that first crate at the very start of the stage was the one that would end up turning ooh, that would end up turning into a checkpoint because I died and retried so often. It was kinda crazy. Alright. Is that right of? I like how you get a wumper for bouncing on a TNT and then an enemy. Kind of a strange thing. Alright, off to the bonus level. Let's do this. Well, that was easy. That was not as difficult as I was expecting. Nice. Clear both of these just so I don't forget about them. There's something I found out about, what was it, one of the, um, what was it? Something I found out about the Crash Crush stage, the boulder stage from yesterday. Is that if you run off, if you run off the screen too far, then the few nitro crates that get destroyed by the boulder can end up being missed because, well, you didn't. You, what was it? The boulder didn't end up running over them. Very finicky thing. It's kind of amazing. All right. Oh, then. I have to ignore that uh, big old plant. Big old. What color is that? Blue blue. Well, I guess we're not ignoring it. Um. All oh, right. What could be over here? I wonder. Hmm. Not much, but it's at least easier to get to than a crash. And that is fun. All right. So with those plants cleared out, let's just take up take off the rest of these uh, crates. We should be able to get the regular gem crate. Just make sure I didn't miss any of those, because that look. Weirdly, like I've missed some of the crates. Oh, God damn it, I do that all the damn time. There we go. Oh, keep away from me, plant. Hm. I wonder why that outcropping is oops. Why that outcropping thing is there specifically? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, with the uh, with the gem completely collected, we are good to go for it for plant food. For the most part, now we just got to do. Now we just have to do the timer. Or oh, it has been a while since I've done a proper rush stage in, or a proper stage in that a stage where I actually have to really rush. I forget if this is the yellow gem or not. You can't tell with the with the coloration with the coloration there. Hmm. I cannot tell. So let's just rush and hope for the best. Because I'm pretty sure this was a coloured gem. Alright. I may be a bit too loud now now that I think about it. Hmm, who knows? Alright. Come on, come on. Alright. 
Got to be very quick for this stage. All right, less than less than 70 seconds to go through this to rush through this stage. Got to be very careful with some of the, with some of the early areas because you have if you have no. Whoops! Well, it goes that accurate. Part of me wants to rush as much as possible, but the other part of me is very worried that I'm going to end up making another checkpoint. Whoops. I vaguely remember there being another, another Aku here. There it is. Whoops. Oh boy. Focus is being broken. Well, I think I may need an Aku for that one. <laughs> yeah. Huh, made it over there really easy. Did not make it over there very easily. Yeah, as you can tell, this stage is a, this stage for the timer is going to be a little difficult. Oh come on, that was just me being stupid. Come on, crash. Suck it up. Not 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 the water though, that's kinda nasty. Mm. Alright. I could make this, but at the same time I could not. Be very careful. This is the thing, you gotta be very controlled in your in your in your movements, but at the same time you've got to rush like Billio. Very difficult for this one. By the way. Oops. Alright, with one with one uh what was it, Aku we've got we're gonna have with okay, with two Akus, we're gonna be very well protected for the trials ahead. And I managed to get past there without taking damage. That's always a plus. Alright, so just over just over the 20 seconds left. Whoops. Alright. Almost there. Oh yeah, there's the yellow jam. Managed to make it in less than 10 deaths as well, which is always a plus. The timer hadn't even emptied out. That is fucking fantastic. I'm sometimes sometimes I'm impressed by my own skills, but you can't tell that's a yellow gem considering the coloration of the what you call. But well, I guess that's uh, part of the problem. Oh, is it a problem? I have no idea. Anyway, ten minutes into the game and we've into the recording and we're going on to see you all later. I wonder how long it'll take us to get here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but anyway, I th think this is a stage with a secret. Not right there, of course. But this is the second. Ooh, ooh, what is deep here? Second uh, sewer stage. If you couldn't tell, why has this guy got a flamethrower? Or is that a flamethrower, or is that? Oh no, that's an arc cutter. God, that that sounded horrifying. Like even accounting for the fact that I'm wearing headphones. All right, so we're gonna be very careful here. Oh, you little shit. That is the rudest platform. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna we can't go we can't just run through these waters as easily as we can through the regular through the regular um or through the old waters. This is going to be interesting. Not to mention that eel is giving giving me trouble. Very, very. Oh, good thing I got that jam then, isn't it? There we go. At the very least, if I die, then I'll get I'll get free accus. Always a good, always a good sign. Where we start? I don't know. All right, now then. Oh. Whoops. It's been, as you can tell, it's been a while since I've probably been on this stage. Let's hope this doesn't sink. Ugh, 
Who would have thought that permanently this yellow water would be this dangerous? Okay, so I know why we're here. And hey, look, there's a free Yankee for me. Straight away. It's so nice. Well, at least I know what I'm doing. Oops. Out of the way, boys. Well, okay. That was less dangerous than I was thinking, but it's still just a little dangerous. So let's check it out. What could be what could be down here that would be worth coming for for the gem and nothing else? Or is this just an exit? I guess it's just an exit. Maybe it's a shortcut. I think it is a shortcut. Well, I'll take that. Yeah, this must be a shortcut. Clear out the rest of those crates. Nice. Alright, I think we'll be revisiting this level later just so that we can get the all the crates. I've got to guess which way is the right way. Aha! Oh, the fun we'll have. Now I am confused which way is the right way. Well, I do not like that water. I guess this is the right way. I didn't even get the goddamn crystal. Well, sod this, I'm gonna go kill this guy and finish the stage. At the very least. Whoa, I really missed a lot. Well, anyway, we at least got one of the gems, which is always a good start. I wonder if I get if I'll get chided for missing the crystal. I doubt I will. Well he seems happy about it anyway. Nice. You do your crazy dance there, Crash. Alright, so, with that done, we'll actually try and get the crystal in the crate gen this time. Yeah, I was expecting I was expecting you to get in trouble for that. Like, you went through the whole level and you didn't get the crystal? Oh boy. That's the sort of thing I'd expect anyway. But no, I suppose he's too busy saving power. Can you, t can you tell I'm not buying that excuse? Alright, come on, man. Well, alright. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess I was too close. Too close to comfort. Oh, whatever. I'll stay here this time. Or I should kick his face off. I'm always worried that I'm going to end up hitting the nitro there. Eh, whatever. I think I think it's just an idle worry. Now this part is... Now this part is a proper... Eh, uh, what was it? That worry is not idle, let's just say that much. <laughs> that worry is fucking active and collecting items on TF2. I don't know. That joke made sense in my head. Um, anyway. What the hell are these guys even doing with those archives? Eh, whatever. I'll ignore the wimpers from there because it's like, what have you got enough line? Uh oh. Whoa. That was too close for comfort. Three Yakus once again. I wonder how much we skipped with that shortcut. Because that's the thing, I did we didn't even see the bonus stage, if the, even if there is one. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, him. God, he's making such a fuss. Yep, there's the bonus. There's a very fast moving fan. Well, that's gonna be fun. Alright, let's see what we've got in this bonus stage. Probably not much considering we didn't miss too many crates throughout that throughout that run. There we go. Or and even then, technically we didn't we didn't miss too many crates, but we still had the uh what was it? We still had all the nitros destroyed as well. You want to bet I made the wrong decision there? Oh, no, I didn't make any wrong decisions. Fantastic. Nice. Alright, that's another 10 crates. We should be alright for this stage, I think. Oh, that was perfect. 
if I'm able to if I'm able to keep this up, I'll be able to get a super active. And I'll be able to test what I was wanting to test. Alright. Now if you couldn't tell those those fans move just a little too fast in my own comfort, so you really if they, so you really gotta destroy all these uh, what was it, ping these enemies in, into the fan blades. But I think that got showed off uh, in an earlier level, but because the, the enemies don't be really spawn, you don't really need to worry about it. Alright. Oh, well I guess the super rapid does destroy those. How about that? And you need to stop you need to stop worrying so much. Oh, there's the crystal. If only I'd come here. Actually thinking about it, I think I need to come back here again. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> because of that uh, exclamation mark box. Out of the way, boys. Shouldn't be too difficult for me. Nice. Now, I do remember reading up, up, reading about something on that there internet, where if you do a slight tackle and then do a spin attack, you end up getting a bit more distance than you should do. I can't really test it out here because it's a little, very, very tight, tightly packed area here. Yeah, that totally made sense in my head. Shut up. Um, but no, there's some weird shit going on in this game that you can test out. Why did I not kill this guy when I was when I was on an Aku rampage? Yeah, who knows or even cares? Certainly not me. Whoops. I mean, I don't care enough to not to not avoid damage when I've already got two free hits. All right. So the super later is done, and geez, we're only coming up to 17 minutes. I think it's really better than the last time. But um, for now, I think the last, I think this last stage will be. Uh, hmm. Thinking, I hate it. Um, but yeah, normally we normally I'd have spent about half an hour by uh, by now on the first two stages. Oh, hello. Wonder what we've got here. Crash! Thank goodness. I hacked into Cortex's computer and found detailed schematics for an improved Cortex vortex and a suspicious-looking space station. I'm not sure, but Cortex might be trying. Well, well, I guess we're finding out what's going on, what cra what Cortex is really up to, in that he's not really up to anything wholesome. Nobody is surprised. Well, anyway, I feel like we can do beer down before we finish this recording session, so let's go. Watch as I take another ten minutes just to complete this stage. <laughs> That's the sort of thing I tend to do. And I lose my Aku as well because we can't have we can't have spear hits on this stage. All right. Ooh, we even get a little uh, couple of hills before we get here. Nice. Yeah, I did get that. Oh boy, the the worries that I'm not that I'm not destroying all of the crates on the stage are going to turn once again. Bird of the bay. Why do I keep holding the forward? Why, why do I keep holding forward on this stage? Yeah, I'm on an auto running level. <laughs> oh well, whatever. All right, there's the first checkpoint. Good to go for there. Alright. Oh, I do not like that area. I just like this area because of these guys. They really like messing around with those things. At the very least, it's laid out a lot of... A lot of well, that was my own fault. And right next to that checkpoint as well. Huh. I wonder why all these guys with glasses are still... Uh, Milling around. Why did I mess that miss that one la this time when I got it last time? Ooh, I am a fool. There we go. Can you tell I'm just a little a, a little a little too wet? <laughs> I guess I bumped my head onto the, on the iron crates. Oh, I am so good at this game. Well, whatever. At least I'm getting one ups out of the out of the wazoo here. Is that even a word? I suppose it is. Nice. Gotta be very gotta be very careful with Ah, with... oh, those bloody seals are gonna mess me up, I swear. Gotta be very finicky around them. Thank you, Polar. I think this thing I think this polar cub's name is actually Polar. Not exactly the most imaginative of names, but well what can you expect from a game like this? Another game where, what was it, Crash Bandicoot just suddenly ha 
as a sister for no reason other than, you know, plot. I think it was plot. I think it was just, you know, Japanese audiences. I have no honest clue. Well, anyway, I think we're close. Well, that was, that was a little confusing. The checkpoint? Uh, the checkpoint? The crystal. Alright. This is where the platform becomes a little, a little zany. Because that guy looked like he was going to pick the damn thing up. Alright, let's try this again. Assholes. There we go. It was a lot less finicky than the previous day, than the first, than bear it. Oh man. That was close. Alright! Ooh, look at all those platforms. We'll have to go check those out once I've done this. So check this out. Alright. Alright, so as you can tell, there's probably a very secret spe Ooh. Huh, I guess Crash doesn't float in icy water. Who knew? Well, at least I've still got the gem. And at least I uh, don't have my timing back. God damn it. Well, anyway, we still have the gem, we still have the crystal, so all we need to do is get the fuck out of Dodge. This is not going to be difficult. Especially considering I've already, uh, I've already missed a crate. <laughs> oh boy. Oh well, shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, now then. I'm pretty sure I can do the platforming properly this time. I just like to hit that for the massive screen shaking explosion it causes. Alright, ooh. And with this, we warp back off to the super secret rooms. Or the super secret warp room. Fun times for all. Which dumps us an air crash. Fantastic. We can probably finish that off and call it a day. Anyway, with, the, with that crystal and gem sent off to the nether realms, or, you know, back to the third warp room, we can go finish off air crash collect all, by collecting all the prints. Let's go. My controls are everywhere. That's horrifying. And of course, we start off on a death platform, not music area. Alright, do I need to bounce? I don't need to bounce over there, but there are wipes. Sadly, I'm not feeling suicidal today, so I'll let those lives be. Alright, so this this area is very finicky, so we've got to be very careful to not die. Should be too difficult, but you know how I am. Ooh, that, blo that bloody sinkhole is messing with me. Wait a minute. I was expecting so much more trouble for a stage that... Wait, is there no crate this way? Oh, I can never remember, honestly. Oh well, well we got to just complete the stage as per normal. I was expecting so much more considering we, get, we got so many of those goddamn uh, crates left over. Pretty sure it was like 50 or so. Well, whatever. Uh, that makes me this up because we've already seen all this before. It's all, it's all, it's all familiar territory. I mean, I may keep, I may keep the deaths in there, but I don't know. This is all the sort of stuff that I would end up probably glazing over, I don't know. Glazing over? Glossing over? I have no idea. Well, whatever. Whatever it is, I'm not going to pay too much attention because we've already been with the Okay, that was just fucking fantastic. I was meant to die there. I didn't. Oh, it's a good sign. Alright. Trying to avoid dying here. Alright. Nice. One, two. Will I be able to make the same jump I did last time? No, I won't, because apparently that decided not to be a bounce lock. Goodbye, Aku. I'll miss you. Oh, well. Let's try this again. Nice. Let's try this again. There we go, you have to press the F. You have to let go again, but then press it again. Who would have thought it? So finicky. What? Damn it. At least I've done the bonus stage now, I think. Maybe? That was the sound of my slippers. Yeah, got that complete. No need to worry about it anymore. Alright. Oh, there's some basic platforming left. Don't need to worry about the death, about the death route, because that's all you've done. I know that could kill me. Oh, nice. There we go. Nice. Time for more donuts. Oh. Okay, maybe I should have waited to do the donut. Oh well. Oh, oh well. I think so well. Whoops. That's a waste of life. Now I get to do it without damage. Or without free damage. So, oh well. That's not get good. Shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, out of the way, you stupid minds. 
the problem they are really quite stupid. They only go left, they only follow a set path, and that's it. But they're still way smart, they're still able to turn smart. Very frustrating. Oh, well. well, that wasn't going out too well at all. No sorry. Uh, I'm going up, I didn't this last week, these last few minutes because I've got confidence in trades. Well, it's not so much confidence, it's more of a kind of, kind of run out of things to say about this particular stage because we have to run through it several times already. Oh, it was close. Ooh, that close. Everything is so close, it's worrying. Alright, so... With the... With the weird late spin. With the, with, with the bonus area... With bonus starting area done, we can now com say that Air Crash is complete. And with that, we have completely finished the second Warp Room. With an actual completed gem crate for Air Crash. That took way too long. Who'd have seen that coming? Alright. Just to confirm everything as well. Look at that. Snowbiz done, air crash done, bear it done, crash crash done, and the eel deal done. Going up as we do. So let's just get back up here and fish. With that, we only have road to ruin and unbearable left to do. But uh, those have their own little secrets as well, so. It's a good thing we're finishing now, so that we don't need to worry about it later. Save that game, buddy. Yes, I would like to override. Man, redundancies are a hell of a thing. But it means I don't have to keep on accidentally re-recording or some shit. Anyway, I hope you will uh, return tomorrow for Road to Ruin. Thank you for watching.